welcome back to the Bugger Channel. Now today, I just bought myself another Old Town Canoe, second hand. There's a couple of uh, issues of it which will be fixed, as I've done with my previous one. So I thought I'll test it out before bringing it home on a Breckenshire Canal. So uh, I'm in the heart of the Brecon Beacons, on the Brecon and Monmouth Canal. And uh, when I got down here this morning, it was just about freezing. But I didn't expect all this ice on the on the canal. As you can see, it's about a quarter to half inch thick, and it takes some paddling through. But it's a good test of this new boat. So I paddle now for an hour or so, cook a bit of lunch, paddle back, and then off home. So if you want to see some ice breaking. And you like a bit of scenery from the Brecon Beacons, particularly the canal, stay tuned. Paddling through this ice is hard work. Sometimes you can't get a paddle in the water. Now you might be asking why have I bought this old bad canoe? Well I planned a trip down the Y uh, later on in the spring when there's no ice on the river. And uh, there's a group of us going and it's cheaper to buy a canoe than it is to hire one for four days. Um, Cheaper to buy a second hand one, that is, anyway. Yeah, you gotta do a bit of work to it. So my other canoe I got, the bug out boat. We're buying it and doing it up. It costs under 300 quid. You buy a brand new one, you know, they're well over a thousand pounds, if not more. Yeah, if you're gonna hire one, uh, for four days, it's gonna cost you four or five hundred pounds, depending where you get it from. So we bought the buoyancy eights and the paddles. It's going to be around about the 400, 500 pound mark. Anyway, but then you've got a boat out of it, haven't you? And all the gear. So even though there's ice on the canal, and some places like a total sheet of ice, it's a beautiful day out here. Well, a cloud in the sky. I think I'm the only one dull enough to be out on the water today. So a big shout out to Mark, Ross Galamanta. Um, he gave me the inspiration of uh, doing this uh, while watching his videos, canoeing down the way. Yeah, so check out his videos. Um, I say his YouTube channel is Welsh Garamanta. And uh, yeah, he's been down the way a couple of times and it looks like a great adventure. So I thought we'd give it a go this year. Hence, me buying the boats. But yeah, if you do live uh, near a water course or a water canal system, why not get yourself out a little boat? But I think a boat is a great addition to your kit. Um, like I say, if you've got access to water. So we're in a SHCF situation and you want to stay off the roads. Um, yeah, this is a great alternative. Plus it's a bit of fun as well.
Or if I fit underneath. That was hard work breaking all that ice up. Oop, they lost the battle. But the good thing is, there's a school group following me, so at least I broke all the ice up from. So now it's time for a break and a bit of dinner. So I'm gonna cook my lunch in one of these flameless ration steamers, or heaters. Now I did do a video on these last week, so check that out if you wanna see more about them. But basically, you pour a bit of water in, you put your heater pack in there, or heater stone they call it, and that warms up your food. So I'm going to warm up some pasture meatballs and then for afters I've got apples and custard. Now this freeze dried, apparently if you put the correct amount of water in the tray with this it should heat it up um, properly so uh, we'll give that a go. So first things first, put the water in, then I'll put the food in the tray, just like so, frame the heater packer in. We'll heat the stone in, that on the top, and then the lid. Leave that to its magic now for about eight to 10 minutes, and we should have some hot lunch. As you can see, she's steaming away. Now while that's cooking, I just want to give a quick shout out to my YouTube members, these guys. Thanks for uh, signing up to the membership. Right, because they're not cooking on gas, and I've got to wait 10 minutes for this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this heat proof mat on the bottom of the canoe. I can put this between my legs. Now I can canoe down the canal for another eight to ten minutes while I was cooking. Save me hanging about. That's it, we're 10 minutes further down the canal and we're heading back to where I started so it's a lot easier to paddle now because uh, the ice is broken up. So, food time. Let's open up, see what it's like. Oh yeah, steaming hot. Now this is one of my faves, classroom meatballs. And uh, yeah, ideally one of these, especially in a boat. Like really, I didn't even have to stop, I can just uh, cook as I'm going, and then obviously eat as I'm going. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do now.
that's my dinner done. Now it's time for pudding. So in goes the food. 350 mils of water. Let's give it a bit of a stir. Drop in the heater stone. They're done. And wait and see. Right, it's been about eight to ten minutes. We put in. Take the lid off. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's done it just the job, to be fair. Yeah, that's done the job, no problem at all. Fair play. Let's say these flameless steamers have been in for the boat. Once you've set it all up and got it going, just chuck it on a heat proof mat between your legs and away to go, yeah. Spot on. Well, that's me out to the water and all of it up. So I hope you liked the video. There will be more adventures with the canoe uh, later on in the year. So stay tuned for them. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. All the best.